Hi and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another mixed media YouTube hub. We are a group of mixed media artists and we are sharing some mixed media inspirations today. And as you see we have some great sponsors for you to win some prizes. All you have to do is subscribe to every channel and leave a lovely comment. Our theme for this hub was underwater and I used the new fish stamps from Rubber Dance to create a beautiful underwater scene in my art channel. I start by priming my page with gesso. Daily Art, one of our sponsors, was so kind to send me some of their artsy stuff and I got gouache paints and this is the first time I'm trying them out and I really enjoyed them but I think I have to practice a little more. I just start by spreading them around my page, creating waves and just try how they work. Gouache paints are similar to watercolors but they are not as transparent as watercolors but they can be reactivated after they are dry. Getting back to our giveaways for this hop, we have um, Jelly Arts as a sponsor but they only ship within the USA so if you want to have a chance to win the prize from Jelly Arts please uh, write in the comments that you are from the US. At this stage of the project, I wasn't sure if this will turn out nice, but in case it wouldn't, I can cover it up, so I don't really mind. It's just some artsy fun for me. I dry the background completely and then I go in with my spray bottle and sprinkle some water droplets onto the page. The water will reactivate the color and now I can wipe it off with my brush and this adds a really interesting texture to my background. As I really like this technique, I go in with another layer of gouache paint and do the same again.
Now it's time for one of the common steps in my process. I'm using white gesso together with a palette knife. I really love to have white space on my pages and I like the way the gesso looks when you apply it with the palette knife. The reason that I'm working with white space on my pages and also with some high contrast is that I want to have a wide tonal range. Um, that makes it much more interesting for the viewer's eye. The work will be much more vibrant when you have every single tone of color. That means that you have really light ones and dark ones and also some in the middle area. I'm adding more color with acrylic paints. Instead of using a brush, I love to work with my fingers. I think it's much more easier and it's also a lot of fun. Most of the time I'm creating more layers instead of just playing with a background and one main image. The reason for that is that it creates a lot of more dimension and depth. The stencil that I'm using is from Stamplerations and Stamplerations is also a sponsor of this hop. And I really like this pattern at the moment. I use it really often. And you will also find a 20% off code to the Stamplerations online store in my description box. So have a look at this. It's time for some background stamping and I'm using stamps from Rubber Dance. Um, to stamp on the background means that there are images where the viewers I can search for on your page and this means that they have a longer look at the page and that makes it more interesting. So this is one thing I always do. I add marks, texture or things to the background just to catch the viewers eyes. The seahorse stamp is a stamp from Viva Las Vegas stamps. Now it's time to create my focal images. I'm stamping the rubber dance fish swim love fishes to watercolor paper and I will color them in with brushes. I'm using the easiest way of coloring a stamped image. I just wet the paper and sprinkle brushes on top. I want to have some shimmer on my fishes, so I'm using the brush of Sprinkle It Pearl. While my fishes are drying, I'm adding some stickers to the page. These are 
homemade. I just printed a piece of artwork onto some round labels and now I use it in my artwork. After I cut out the fishes, I sprayed them with the Daily Art Glossy Varnish. I really like the result. I do some mark making with a white paint pen. I glue down the fishes with a glue stick and I printed my sentiment with the computer and cut it into a strip and I adhere some double sided tape to it so I can easily glue it down to my page. I draw some scribbly lines around the words. I decide to stamp some of the solid fishes from the stamp set to the background. Here is my finished page. I hope you enjoyed my video and I hope you enjoy our mixed media hop. You will find a link to the next video in the end card of this video and also in my description box. I hope I see you next time. Bye!